first, go ahead and preheat your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit and get two rimmed baking sheets ready, large baking sheets. I am going to make four halves, which is about four servings. We're using small spaghetti squash here. So if you are using something bigger, it could feed maybe up to six people, just depending on everyone's portions. So the first thing we need to do is slice these in a half. So you definitely wanna have a really sharp chef's knife and you're going to carefully cut these in half lengthwise. And then when you open them up, we'll remove the seeds and kind of that like slimy flesh on the inside. And we'll add some avocado oil, which is great for high temperatures and some pepper and some salt. They are sliced and scooped you're going to use your fork if you haven't already to poke holes in the outside and then turn them over so the flesh side is facing up and you're going to drizzle about half a tablespoon maybe one teaspoon of your oil on the inside of each half and then just use your hands to rub that in. This oil is not only gonna help with the cooking process to soften the spaghetti strands up, but it's also gonna add flavor and make this a good texture. Healthy fats like avocado and olive oil help us absorb some of our fat solid fat soluble vitamins, A, D, E, and K. So then flip them over so the flesh side is now facing down. And I like to add about a quarter to a half cup of water to the rimmed baking sheet. And that water helps absorb, soften, and quicken the cooking process. So now we're going to bake this for 30 to 40 minutes in the oven. Check it at about 25, 30 minutes. Maybe you need to add a little more water or maybe your squash is smaller and it's cooking faster. Meanwhile, you should be able to check on your spaghetti squash. So I pulled this out at 35 minutes. I let it sit for about two or three minutes before I turned one of these over. And you're just gonna use some forks. And if the strands are easily coming off of the shell or the flesh, then that should be good to go. Now you can cook this based on your desired tenderness. You can have a little bit of crunch left. It could be really soft and tender. 